guys. So, today I want to share with you guys my learnings about Osobel's subsumption theory in which Osobel's believe that the use of the advanced organizer organizers is anchored to the principle of subsumption. You know, Osobel's theory really instilled a lot of learnings that I could possibly use throughout the career that I am pursuing. Why? Because Osobel really pointed out that what is known is based on what is already learned. What is that? So, one's own prior knowledge can affect or limit what is learned. So, meaningful learnings can take place through four processes. So, we have the derivative subsumption, the correlative subsumption, superordinate learning, and combinatorial learning. So, what are those? What are the meaning of those things? So, you have the derivative subsumption. So, Derivatives and assumption, it is the new information that you learn is based or is an example of the concept that you have already learned. Let's take an example of a tree. So you are acquainted to the concept of a tree. The tree has trunks, branches, and green leaves. Now, when you encounter another kind of tree, just like Nara, then you already know that Nara is a tree because it has a concept or it has the idea or the learnings tree has trunks, branches, and green leaves. Next, you have the correla correlative subsumption in which it enriches the concept into higher level. Now, you are acquainted to the concept of a tree, but when you encounter another form of tree that has red leaves rather than green, then your idea of a tree will extend all or alter and you will be um, or you will be or you will learn that a tree could be possible that it, a tree could grow red leaves next we have the superordinate learning in which superordinate you will know uh, you know a lot of concept you know a lot of concept but you didn't know that until it taught to you for example you know apple you know the guava you know the mango you no know, banana that you didn't know that those are fruits but you know that the, but you know their concepts next we have the combinatorial learning in which the new information or the new idea is derived from another idea for example you are acquainted or you knew that or you are taught that how you are taught how plants breathe then you will relate that idea to another idea of the human respiration and how does human breathe and those are also both subsumption theory i hope you learn from me guys that's all thank you